These two pieces of gear are all you need to make a quick, easy, lightweight, redundant, and equalized anchor system, especially when you're using two trees. If you're starting out, this is a great option. You just need some webbing and a carabiner, and you can make a pretty sweet system that doesn't take up a ton of space in your pack when you're getting out there, and it isn't costly to get started. So you can use this with rock protection. You can use it with two rocks or a combination, uh, but I would highly recommend you using trees if you are getting started. So let's get into it. If you're new to Adventures in Reach, I do a bunch of videos about rappelling and knots, uh, sunfish sailing, orienteering, and then a whole host of other random adventures to keep you inspired and to give you some tips to get you out there safely having fun. So let me know what you're into and let's get into this video. After I decide where I'm going over the edge, I come back and I look for a couple nice trees. So this red pine and then the one further behind me are both pretty good size and they look like healthy crowns and roots and I'm gonna rely on these. For the next thing, I undo my webbing and I wrap it all the way around both trees. When I'm wrapping it, I try to keep it low around the trunk and then keep it from being all twisted. It looks better and it will make the next step much easier. Hey, apologies for the train noise in the background. So after I get my webbing all the way wrapped around, I'm going to tie a water knot. If you haven't seen that before, it's a pretty quick, easy knot to learn. So you're gonna do an overhand and then you're going to simply feed the other strand back through that knot. And when you pull it together, you should have the webbing pulling through the knot, not trying to split it apart like if I were pulling that way. So pulling through the knot, tails on each side, and you know, giving yourself some extra tails off to the ends. So that's your water knot. The next thing is we look for this nice long pennant shape or something that looks like an isosceles triangle really stretched out. We need to have it in this shape because it's going to be drastically shorter once we finish this anchor. All right, next, after I verify that I have a nice long pennant shape, I'm going to rotate this piece of webbing so that the knot is like halfway roughly back from the apex to the tree. And then I'm going to go grab the piece of webbing from between the two trees and pull the two pieces together. I'll show you. All right, so the next thing, you're going to take and aim this apex of the anchor system at the spot you're going to go over the cliff. Now once I do that, I'm going to pinch it off, pull back so that I have four different strands here. I'm going to treat that all as one, holding it together, and I'm going to tie an overhand knot with those four strands. So now I'm going to have these two loops here, and this is going to give me my redundancy. So this is going to isolate that tree and that tree by tying this knot. So if this tree fell over or if this piece of webbing broke, this would be isolated at the knot and the other tree would still hold. So then I'm going to take my carabiner, clip it into here and clip my rope in. And now I'm good to set up my harness and belay device and get ready to go off the cliff. So to give you the close up here, you've got your knot. I'm using a figure eight on a bite, your carabiner. This is an auto locking. Then this overhand on a bite with these four strands. And then you've got your V going back to your two trees there. So now you've got this redundancy. You've got it equalized if it's pointing in the direction you want to go. You have a ton of strength here because one of these strands of webbing is rated to about 4,000 pounds. So two, you're at 8,000. So you have 8,000 per tree. So 16,000 holding a rope that's rated to about 7,600 pounds. This carabiner is rated to 23 kilonewtons. So I believe that's a little over 5,000 pounds. And so plenty of strength to get me over the edge safely. Get hooked in, grab your prussics, tie your knot in the end of the rope, chuck it over the edge, and away you go. 